enforcement officials. We'll keep you up to date on that one. Now here, Labour MPs and peers have met this evening to discuss an emergency motion calling on the party to adopt an internationally recognised definition of anti-Semitism. The party's new anti-Semitism code currently omits four examples of anti-Semitic behaviour, all of which concern Israel. The code was approved by Labour's National Executive Committee last week in response to repeated claims of anti-Semitism against the party and its leadership, including from the senior Labour MP, Dame Margaret Hodge. Well, in a moment, we'll get the latest from our chief political correspondent, John Craig. But first, this report from Sally Lockwood. Has Labour done enough on anti-Semitism, Mr Corbyn? Far from tackling this issue head on, Jeremy Corbyn was seen slipping out the back door of the shadow cabinet meeting leaving his Labour colleagues to face the music out the front. With his MPs meeting to table an emergency motion to adopt the international definition of anti-Semitism, it seems little can be done to win back the trust of the Jewish community. It's very sad because it's been home for Jews for hundreds of years. You know, we've never felt this way. The Jewish Telegraph is a family-owned newspaper. In its 68 years in print, it's remained apolitical until now. We called on our front page for the Jewish members and Jewish MPs to leave the party. We've called for them to leave before they're made to leave. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of people have done that, thankfully. They are leaving the party, they are making a stand. But it, they may have to leave the country if they don't feel safe enough. And that's something that you're seeing already? Yeah, definitely. Manchester is home to the country's second largest Jewish community. Even children here are aware of the row over the Labour Party's new definition of anti-Semitism. Here's one of the four examples of anti-Semitism that Labour's omitted from its new code, claiming that Israel's existence as a state is a racist endeavour. This is essentially saying that having a Jewish country is racist. It's OK to have Christian countries, Muslim countries, etc. 